Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Bienvenidos a mi cocina. Today I'm going to be making a really delicious dish. It's a Spanish dessert called tocino de cielo. It means bacon from heaven, but it has no bacon in it. And the ingredients that we're going to be using are 10 egg yolks, 2 cups of sugar, 2 cups of water, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, 1 lemon peel, and a pinch of salt. Los ingredientes que necesitamos son 10 yemas de huevo, 2 tazas de azúcar, la misma cantidad de agua, media cucharadita de vanilla, unas cáscaras de limón y unas pizquitas de sal. So the first thing I'm going to do is make my caramel sauce. I'm adding one cup of sugar to one cup of water. I'm going to let it boil you down to the sugar turns to a caramel color and then I'm going to remove it and pour it into my baking pan. With the caramel, you want to cover the edges of the, um, the baking pan. Lo primer paso es hacer el caramelo. Voy a echar una taza de azúcar a una taza de agua. Cuando mi caramelo está listo, voy a echar en mi recipiente. Y cubre los lados del recipiente con el caramelo. This dessert um, dates back to 1324. It was created by nuns from a convent called Espíritu Santo de Jerez de la Frontera. The wineries back then used to use egg whites, and they used that to clarify the wine and they would give the leftover egg yolks to the, the convent and the nuns would make dessert. Hence, Tocino del Cielo. Este postre fue creado en 1324 por las monas del convento de Espíritu Santo de Jerez de la Frontera. Las bodegas usaban los huevos blancos para aclarar el vino y donaron las yemas a las monjas. Criaron el postre Tocino del Cielo. So now I'm adding um, sugar and water into a pot so that I can start making my syrup. And um, I'm going to add lime peel, salt, and I'm going to add um, vanilla. Ahora voy a hacer un serope para los huevos. Voy a poner la cáscara de limón. Voy a echar sal y vanilla. When your syrup is um, a thick consistency, um, you know it's ready. Now, it looks like it's not thick, but if you watch it, you can tell that it's thick. Cuando tiene una consistencia así, como así, entonces sabe que está listo. So now you're going to um, pour your syrup into a glass or a bowl and let it cool off for about 20, about 20 minutes. Um, so now I'm just removing the lemon peel because you don't need that anymore. And I'm going to start getting my eggs ready. Okay, vamos a enfriar el sirope 20 minutos. Okay, vamos a separar las yemas de las claras. So now we're going to separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. Now you're probably wondering what to do with your egg whites now that you have all these egg whites. You can either make meringue, uh, meringue cookies, uh, meringuitos, or you can make a tortilla, um, an omelet. So just don't throw those away. Bueno, ¿qué haces con las claras que tiene? Se puede hacer meringuitos, merengue, o una tortilla. Así que no botalas. Ahora vamos a batir los huevos y añadir el sirope. So now we're going to beat our eggs and then we're going to add our cold syrup into the eggs. So now I'm going to pour my egg yolks through a strainer just to get out any residuals. Ahora voy a echar mis yemas a través de un colador. So now we're going to pour the egg yolks into our baking pan and we're going to um, use another baking pan to create a water bath or a baño maria. Ahora voy a echar las llamas en un recipiente y necesitamos um, otro recipiente para crear un um, baño maria. So now you're going to add um, warm water halfway up the baking pan to prevent the eggs from burning. And we're going to cover them with aluminum foil so that the top doesn't burn. Añade agua caliente um, o tibia uh, a mitad del recipiente. Ahora cubre con aluminum 
y hornearlo a 350 grados durante una hora y 20 minutos. So now we're going to bake this at 350 degrees for one hour and 20 minutes. Keep in mind that every oven is different, so each oven may require a different time. Recuerda que um, cada horno es diferente. Pruébalo con un palillo. So you want to check it with the toothpick to see if it's ready. Déjalo enfriar durante 30 minutos antes de ponerlo en la nevera. Let it cool off about 30 minutes before you put it in the refrigerator. Okay, es el tiempo para voltearlo. Use a knife or a spatula to loosen the edges and then put a plate over top of the baking pan and then carefully flip it. And here you have my delicious Tocino del Cielo. Look how beautiful it is. Absolutely perfect. Miren como queda. Perfecto. Heaven and a plate. Heaven and a plate. This is almost too beautiful to cut, but I have to cut a piece because I've been dying for it. Este es mi parte favorito. Voy a cortar un pedacito. Now this is my favorite part. Cutting a piece and trying it. This is better than fun. If I had to compare the two, this is so light. This should be called heaven in your mouth <laughs> instead of um, <laughs> Tocino de Cielo because this is this is delicious. I, I swear it is. I wouldn't lie to you. I can't even stop eating this. Mm. Wow. It's like a pudding consistency. It's not heavy like... um. Is. La textura es cremosa y ligera y se derretí en tu boca. Es como un puré. Well, my friends, it's time for me to go. I want to thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video and leave a comment below. It helps my channel. And follow me on social media at these uh, social media platforms. Um, I have a blog and um, you can get my recipes from there. I'll leave a link below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bueno, mis cariños, es hora para irme. Gracias por verme. Si te gusta este video, dale un like y deja un comentario. Suscríbete a mi canal y haz clic la campana para no perderte mis videos. Sígueme en Facebook, Instagram, TikTok y Pinterest. Hasta la próxima. Muchas bendiciones. Bye bye.